Astra Abbot. Hello and welcome to the Pirate King Plays Genshin Impact. Um, yeah, we finished the game yesterday and there's a little bit of Genshin Impact content we can get to before going to the last game in the Monkey Island series. So, hopefully, really hoping everything will work with this today and it won't be as twitchy as it tends to be. Um, I forgot to put my camera back in its normal spot for this game, but... Probably fine over there. Um, right. So, our new content is... Kuki Shinobu's Hangout Quest, The Gang's Daily Deeds. There we go. Hopefully it'll take up the entire stream. I don't remember how long these usually take. It's either two to three hours or half that time. Oh. Police station, huh? Wait, is this supposed to follow up the event? Um, well, first of all, let me, uh, do that. Second, let me explain the event I'm talking about. So, there's another event on it also at the moment. Uh, we might do one of those quests if we have the time. So this event, the Almighty Arataki Great er, Great and Glorious Drum Along Festival. It was a uh, rhythm game that they gave us. And there was a, a small bit of story that went along with it. It was a voiced uh, event quest. And they went through a lot of trouble trying to... Uh, the, the Arataki gang went through a lot of trouble trying to get their event going on, which seemed to be just drumming and... Hanging out and roasting lavender melon and having a good time. Um, the people who went there, uh, where they ev eventually ended up having it, which was... Yeah. They tried to have it on Rito and got kicked off to, uh, what's this island called again? Amakane Island. The very back of it, no less. Um, but, yeah. Uh, ended up being a pretty good time. The music that played... In fact, very good. Most of it. You'll see that I've cleared everything already. We actually have to go to the location in order to do it, so I won't. Uh, maybe I'll show you some of these after if I can. Ba -da -da -da. Yeah. Oh, also, now that he's popping up here, I, I did a, a 10 wish yesterday, and... Surprise, surprise, I got the guy on the banner, who happens to be, where are you? There you are, Arataki Ito, who I'll probably never play as. But, uh, yeah, I haven't given him much so far. I don't have enough feathers for everyone. Oh, wait, wait, oh, wait, shit. I want to see who, you're, who is your voice actor. I've made so many comments on how good this voice actor is. Max Middleman? That's actually familiar. Good job, Max. You put some real life into this character that doesn't deserve it. Because he's annoying as fuck. But you get so into it, it's hard not to like him. At least a little bit. Uh, do I have any of those? Nope. Shinobu, on the other hand, I really like. Though I don't really like playing as her as much. I do apologize. As I've explained before, it's a constant battle for Mr. Arataki with his mental instabilities. I know it's caused no end of problems for you, and I can assure you that he regularly feels very remorseful about that, too. Exactly. 
Yes, and that's why he has such a big heart for other people struggling with similar issues. Um, the Arataki support group was actually founded precisely to try and bring something positive out of that. Yes, all of them are good, honest people underneath. It's just a shame that they still haven't found a cure after all this time. A cure for oh, what? No, 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 not me. I'm not a sufferer. What are you doing? Hmm? Ah, just the person I need. Mr. Uesugi, my friend here can confirm everything I've told you about Mr. Arataki. To put it simply, he experiences strong emotion more acutely than most and easily becomes highly excitable. I guess that's true. And deep down inside, all the members of the Arataki support group are some of the most down-to-earth, kind-hearted people you could ever meet. Yeah, I guess so. It seems beside the point. It's not the full story here. Huh. Even the Traveler is here to vouch for the Arataki gang. So hmm. you're saying we've had them wrong all this time? <clears throat> Shinobu's giving us a look, which means play along. Okay, that, that's that's illusion of choice. That's the same thing there. Otherwise, why would Shinobu have stayed in the gang? Hmm. You make a good point. You know, I heard Yoriki Owada saying how the Arataki gang's deputy has studied abroad and is well versed in the law. True. I was wondering Ish. why someone with that much talent would choose to stay with the Arataki gang. Here's the thing, though. We have solid evidence that those three were illegally posting flyers everywhere, and we've received a lot of complaints from members of the local community. I appreciate what you're saying and everything. I'm just not sure I can let them off so easily. Yeah, because they didn't know that posting flyers was illegal. They've just seen flyers everywhere and said, hey, we can do that too. <laughs> Please accept my sincere apologies once again for all of that. Mamoru and the others probably believe that they would be able to reach more people in need this way. Unfortunately, they were so eager to help that they ended up causing more problems than they solved. The Arataki support group assumes full responsibility. We will work quickly to restore the clean and tidy living environment that the community quite rightly expects. Oh, wow, she's But buttering. with only myself available, I'm afraid that it could take a very long time to remove all the flyers. Having their help would have made things much quicker. I'm just a little concerned that if progress is too slow, the complaints will only keep coming, which ultimately only makes more work for you and your colleagues. Huh. I... <laughs> all right, fine. I'll go fetch them. But don't think I'm going to make a habit of this. Uesugi escorts your attack Finally, again out of we're confinement. Saved. Hey, hey! I knew Shinobu wouldn't abandon us. What up? The Arataki gang is back in town. <clears throat> Sorry, they're getting a little overexcited at the prospect of being able to serve the community. All right, guys. Make sure you get every last one of those flyers back, okay? I know that only one of them was left on the island where the event was, but I didn't think the other three were arrested. I thought it was just Ito. And don't forget to apologize to the residents and ask for forgiveness. I assure you, there won't be any problems. Will there, guys? Uh, yes. No problems. We'll, we'll be sure to get the job done. <laughs> yeah, Genta was still on the <sighs> island. What? I really hope letting them go was the right decision. They better not cause any more trouble. The whole thing with the Arataki gang is they're causing trouble only for the government. Only because they are breaking laws that they don't really no, they don't know. They have no idea what they're doing. They just want to have fun. All right then, Shinobu. We, uh, we'll go apologize then? Yeah, we better be quick, or... Not so fast. Ah! <laughs> 
Last month, to wonder why everything sounds so quiet to me out when you were my fucking AC is so fucking Five loud. days ago, you angered the whole neighborhood by hosting the great sing-along in the middle of the night. And today, you go plastering flyers all over town. How many times will you have to be arrested before this stops? But we put up those flyers to tell everyone how great the Arataki gang is. No more excuses. That's you know, what? I had real plans at Uyu restaurant today. But it looks like you guys need a little slap on the wrist first. Ah, help! P -p please you don't want to do this. You could have just left us in jail instead. I mean, it's it, there's a bunch of different endings, so in this case, we, th this looks like an actual decision. We'll go for the top choices first. Don't feel sorry for them. They need to learn their lesson. It's more important that they apologize. Yes, yes! Shinobu, please just let us go apologize. If someone else complains, they'll only arrest us again. And, and then you'll be forced to help us out again. <sighs> I suppose I'll have to teach you a lesson later. So then, where did you post all your flyers, hmm? Well, um... We left a few on the counter at Shimura's. We figured that people might take a look while they're eating. Also, the bulletin board at Tsukumomono Groceries. And, uh... Sounded like you had trouble also, saying that word. Uh, also, um... Just say it. Come on. Right, of course. Also, on the mountain path leading up to the Grin Narukami Shrine. We wanted to send the message. Why pray for the gods when you can call for the Arataki gang? But we only distributed a few before a terrifying fox lady appeared right behind us. Really? How terrifying, exactly? Uh, don't make me relive the memory. Well, anyway, by the time we recovered our wits, we were already at the police station. We were actually pretty relieved to be <sighs> there, under the circumstances. Yeah, because it meant we'd escape from the fox lady. Huh? Shinobu... Why are you looking at us like that? It looks like I need to knock some serious sense into you after all. You, you said it was just going to be a slap on the wrist. We've learned our lesson. Honest. Have you? Do, have, have you been told why? Uh, let's go apologize at the shrine first. No, anywhere but the shrine. Sh oh, Shinobu, right. We're going to go apologize to Kanbei now. Um, bye. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And AOA too. Hey, wait up. Three young rascals flee as fast as they can. Uh, I swear I've never seen them run that fast before. Yeah, Shinobu was a prospective shrine maiden and did not want that life. So... <laughs> Miko seems to have left a lasting impression on them. Uh, of all the places they could cause a scene, they just had to pick the shrine. I guess I'll have to suck it up and go sort this out. I know a lot of people at the shrine. Why don't I come with you? It's not that I don't know anyone there. It's just... <sighs> okay, fine. It'll probably go more smoothly with you there. The sooner this is over, the better. I don't want to spend a second longer at that place than I have to. This reminds me. The chasm, Shinobu said she didn't like the shrine. Anyway... As I just said... Thank you for coming with me. To the shrine. I, I know I'll 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 check the uh, the branching tree at the end. Uh, well, when we get to an ending, not midway through. I think. I'm curious. I'm I'm sure there was a split there. Man, frame rate is way down. And not just on the on OBS, on here too. That's better. Yay, Miko. Well, hello there, little one. Oh, I see you've brought a special guest. <clears throat> Lady Guji, I'm here to apologize on behalf of the Arataki gang. 
We will remove all the flyers and compensate the shrine appropriately for any damages. I hope Lady Guji can forgive their appalling behavior. Huh, so that's why you're here. Yes, that is a tricky situation. This is the Grand Narukami Shrine, after all. Ultimately, their actions here are tantamount to disrespecting the Shogun herself. That's a devilish grin, I think, while looking at her perfectly emotionless face. So how about this? I've already assigned a Shrine Maiden to clear up your little flyers, so at this moment we are a oh, little no. understaffed at the Shrine. You mentioned appropriate compensation. Perhaps you could fill in for this Shrine Maiden and greet visitors for the day, hmm? I'm afraid I have to refuse. Good, oh? Good, politely. Such a hasty refusal. Do you think that's wise? Goodness, who knows what Tenshukaku would make of this if they heard about it. I can't believe it. Go over all the top decisions. Looks like you'll have to play along. <laughs> Very good. You've learned a lot since we last met. Otherwise, things can only get worse. True. I could deal with most people if they tried to exploit my weakness. Just not her. <sighs> okay, I'll be a Shrine Maiden for a day. But let me be clear that this is for one day only. And one time only. Also, I'm not wearing a Shrine Maiden's outfit. Not happening. Oh, well, that's a shame. What a pity. I wanted to see your face. Hey, not you too. <laughs> <laughs> that settles it then. Now, there are already a few visitors at the shrine. Make sure you take good care of them. I know what I'm doing. Oh, she marched off quickly. So cold. <sighs> it seems that I have no business left here. Hold on now. Would you like to be a shrine maiden for a day as well? Are you sure I'm qualified? <laughs> it's my shrine. If I say you're qualified, then you're qualified. Besides, can you really bear the thought of leaving her here all by herself? Shinobu of all people will be quite alright on her own, but who knows what might happen with Miko here. So you'll stay and keep her company, yes? Don't worry, you'll both receive ample compensation for your trouble. It'll be quite worth the wait. Especially yours, I assure you. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> what have we been pressured into? Spikes? Oh, that, no, that's a different thing. For the shrine complete. Receive guests at the shrine. What? Oh, wait. Another bad oh. Okay. Oh, should I take the risk? Or... Huh? Who are, Who are you? We're shrine maidens. We can you can talk to us about whatever's bothering you. You're shrine maidens? They sure dress different these days. I suppose this is the Grand Narukami Shrine after all. I came across a potential business opportunity recently. They say that by financing an overseas merchant ship, you can make a 40% profit on your investment in three months. Several of my friends have already received their returns and want me to go in with them on a bigger investment. For some reason, I was feeling a little unsure about it, so I thought I'd come to the shrine and see what the great Narukami thinks. But the fortune slip I drew is neither positive nor negative. I'm at a loss on what to make of it. Hmm. Most of the fortune slips in the shrine are pretty ambiguous. Could it be that our god wants me to come back and draw another slip tomorrow? And if the same happens again, then maybe the day after that? I mean, you'd be guaranteed a great fortune slip eventually. That's how If you have all that time to draw slips, why not spend it on learning more about this merchant ship instead? I've heard of a scam where people make up a bogus investment and promise high returns in a short period. Mm. In reality, they just use the new investor's money to pay existing investors their profits. Once people see the early investors making their money back, scores of other investors jump on the bandwagon, and then one day the people behind it just pack up and leave with the money. Oh gosh, 
Come to think of it, they haven't given me any specifics about the shipping router itinerary. Mm-hmm. There we go. By saying it's overseas and being economical with the details, they can filter out the folks who actually take the time to do their due diligence. It's another common tactic used by many scammers. Wow, is that true? Praise be to the Narukami. Clearly she has been watching over me amidst my confusion. Thankfully I hadn't agreed to anything yet. But rather than thanking your god, why don't you thank her first? Oh, yes, of course. Thank you, Shrine Maiden. Now that I think about it, I remember receiving similarly sound advice at this shrine in the past. That Shrine Maiden is long gone now, though. It's a real pity. Nope! It was really? her! What a shame. But anyway, shouldn't you be getting back now to warn your friends? Oh, goodness, yes. I'll go and warn them all right away. <laughs> it was back when she was a Shrine Maiden. Here's hoping he manages to stop his friends in time. <sighs> right. There's another visitor. Let's see what he wants. It seems even a change of scenery won't get the creative juices flowing. Uh, who are you? We are Shrine Maidens. You can ask us for advice if you have any- Shrine Maidens? Huh. I guess I could give that a try. It was Miko's idea. Oh! This was the chief editor's idea? Then no wonder it's so... novel. <laughs> uh, I, on the other hand, am all out of ideas. So I came to the Shrine to pray for inspiration. Well? Has it worked? N not so far. I guess I wasn't sincere enough or something. But I'm gonna come back tomorrow. I'm sure I'll stir the heart of our god eventually. It should be readers' hearts you're trying to stir. Have you ever thought about going traveling? Inspiration comes from life experience. The more places you go, the more people you meet, the more you'll have to share with your readers. It's natural to run out of new material when you're in the same place doing the same things every day. That's true. I haven't gone out exploring in a long time. Actually, ma'am, you look very familiar. Have we met before, here in the shrine? No, you must be mistaking me for someone else. Shinobu, Lack of social contact can easily hair. lead to a deterioration in facial recognition abilities. Seriously? Oh, man. That's it. I'm packing my bags right away. Time to go traveling. I wish it was that easy nowadays. Oh, that thing huh. I said about facial recognition? Probably depends on the individual. Ooh. Anyway, forget that. We have a new visitor. Let's go greet them. Got a spin crystal. Those are for uh, music in the... Um... <laughs> uh, Serena Teapot. There we go. The blanky on the name for some reason. Uh, please, wait a moment, ma'am. Uh, we'll work something out for you as soon as possible. Oh, it's okay. There's no need to rush. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, perfect. This lady's granddaughter is going abroad soon, and she'd like to give her an omamori before she leaves. Unfortunately, we just ran out. Could I trouble you to make some more? Huh. You should be able to find the brocade bags and knots on both sides of the shrine. For the paper slips that go inside, just ask Maki. Um, I don't think I need to go into detail on how to write the blessing and put it all together. No, I can handle the rest. Mm -hmm. Ah, <laughs> thank you, dear. Great. I'll take her to wash her hands first. We'll see you in front of the sacred Sakura when you're ready. Ah, thank you all so very much. May the great Narukami bless you. Hmm, okay. So we're making a memori. Where the materials they said outside of the Don't climb. <laughs> they did not tell you to climb.
Oh, it is back here? I was going the right way and I looked the wrong way. Oh. Huh, so this is where the knots are. Brocade bags, check. Oh, darn it, I wanted to grab that first. If you need paper slips for Omomori blessings? I have a few right here. Oh, but I'm afraid I don't have a pen. Don't worry, I got it. Always gotta have a pen, don't you? That's everything. Let's go give it to the lady. Ah, oh, there you are. Is the Omomori ready? Almost. I just need to write the blessing. One second. Here, ma'am. Please, come and pray over here. Oh, great, Narukami. Please watch... Ugh. Aren't you going to join them? This is a job for a real shrine maiden like Inagi. I wouldn't be suited to it. Why didn't you convince her to leave like the others? There are some things that mortals are powerless to control. Sometimes praying to the gods is the only thing people can do. Not to mention that the Omomori will mean a lot to our granddaughter. Maybe it'll encourage her to stay safe on her travels? So in terms of the outcome, it's beneficial. The huh. only people I can't stand are the ones who don't think for themselves and at least try to solve their own problems. By relying on the gods for everything, all they're doing is neglecting themselves and those around them. Is that why you don't want to be a shrine maiden? No, that has nothing to do with it. The reason I don't want to be a shrine maiden is that I don't enjoy it. But enough about that. Good reason. It looks like they've just about finished, I think. Let's go over there and say our goodbyes. Thank you ever so much. When my granddaughter returns next year, I promise to bring her here so we can pay our respects together. You're welcome, ma'am. Make sure to watch your step on the way down. I will, I will. Do you need any assistance on the way down? Don't you worry now. I've walked this path many a time before. Oh, yes. I don't believe I've thanked you yet, have I? Thank you for the Omamori. I'll make sure that my granddaughter keeps it with her. <sighs> You're welcome. Just doing my job. <laughs> it's been a long time since we last met each other at this shrine, hasn't it? <laughs> Why does everyone so, remember her? You finally came back? Huh? Uh, I think you've mistaken me for someone else. Oh, really? Well, perhaps my hearing isn't as good as it used to be. That's a point. She didn't seem surprised that we're Shrine Maidens. Although this is very strange. You sound exactly like another Shrine Maiden I remember. She didn't talk much, but I remember her voice very well. Oh. Anyway, I hope I can hear your voice again when I return with my granddaughter next year. <sighs> and she's gone. <sighs> Seems like this wasn't your first time as a Shrine Maiden. Yeah, you're right. I once did a stint here as a trainee Shrine Maiden. It was arranged by my family. Unfortunately, I have no happy memories of that period. I just remember the way my family would nag me about etiquette and remembering the rules every time I left the house. And how they'd interrogate me every time I got back from the Shrine to check that I'd been on my best behavior and hadn't upset any visitors. Not once did I get a simple, have a nice day, or... Welcome back. <sighs> I couldn't take it anymore, so I quit. I was determined to be anything but a shrine maiden. So I studied bookkeeping, worked as an editor for a while, even sat for some exams to qualify as a chef. Huh. I wear this mask to stop people from recognizing me, because I don't want them to pry into my personal affairs. Okay, enough chit-chat. Huh. It's time to report back to you-know-who. Fair enough. Yeah, that spin crystal I picked up was probably for the song that we're hearing right now. I'll see you later, I guess. Ah, good show today, both of you. It was so much fun to watch. Would you be interested in continuing to work no. as Shrine Maidens? 
Or perhaps you'd like to work as editors at Yai Publishing House instead. It would be a terrible shame to let such fascinating individuals slip away out of my reach. No thanks. Please let me go. Regrettably, I must decline, Lady Guji. The Shrine and Yai Publishing House are both fantastic places to work. They're just not for me. Hmm. <sighs> all right. Well, keeping you around under duress would only take all the fun out of it. Here, these are your wages as promised. Not a single mora short. Wages? No need, Lady Gucci. I'm here today to make amends. Oh, don't worry. I've already deducted the damages incurred by those boisterous boys from your amount. If you don't take the payment now, I'll be forced to send someone to deliver the package to the Arataki gang. <laughs> now, who should I send? Hmm... Miyuki, perhaps? <clears throat> no need to go to all that trouble, Lady Guji. I'll take it today. Good. How about you, little one? I trust you don't have any reason to refuse. No, I don't. That's more like it. Uh, one more thing. You mustn't open the package until after you leave the shrine. Otherwise, you will be cursed with bad luck. Yeah, yeah. You just don't want us coming back here. So, hmm, what's going on with this? What? Another bad one? Uh, just leave the shrine, but we just. Oh, okay. This should be far enough. It's not really a curse. She's always saying things like that. There's probably nothing in here but plain old Mora. And probably a letter of some sort. Really. Let's see. Yep, just Mora. Oh, wait, what the? What's wrong? It's nothing. I'm just surprised by the amount. The Shrine Maiden gig was surprisingly lucrative. But you still won't go back to that lab, right? Definitely not. No amount of Mora could make me enjoy that job. Let's see your <laughs> share then. With no damages deducted, it should be even more, right? All right, let me see. Wow, that's weird. It's just a single thin sheet. Wait, what are you laughing at? <laughs> Unexpected wages. Will the next development may be fortunate or unfortunate? I was wondering what her face looked like, and I think that's as close as we're getting. That's what she looked like as a shrine maiden. Very good. I missed what the, uh, the achievement said, but oh well. Alright. That was one ending. Wait, what? Oh, you have to zoom out. We made our way up this way. So, there was another, there was a split here. We'll go for that first by going back here. Also. All right. So now we have to find out where the split is. Shouldn't be too difficult. Well, hello there, little one. <clears throat> we will remove all the yep. flyer. I hope Lady Good... Huh. So th this is the Grand Narukami Shrine. So how about this? You mentioned appropriate compensation. I'm afraid I have to refuse. Oh? Such a hasty refusal. Do you think that's wise? <sighs> I can't believe it. Never let her lead you by the nose. Oh, dear me. Don't you trust me? I'm heartbroken. You've clearly got some mischief planned. <sighs> You're both impossible. Go on then. Go lend a hand to the Shrine Maiden in charge of removing the flyers. You can have it your way. Take down all the flyers and that will be the end of it. Is that accommodating enough for you? Yes. Suspiciously so. I agree. This seems out of character for her. Still, getting rid of the flyers should be the Arataki Gang's responsibility. Even if there's a catch to this. It can't be as bad as being a shrine maiden for the day. We just did Thanks that. Thanks for Wasn't sticking with me this far. You can leave the rest to me. Do we have an agreement? 
Well then, no backing out now. The shrine maiden I tasked with cleaning up is just outside the shrine. You'll know her when you see her. She is your sister, after all. Ah! Miyuki? Oh, that's Leave Miyuki, there, I knew it. We? Work hard now. <laughs> There's the catch. So she still got me in the end. This may have been I the worst option for her. This, we'll see. Please stick with me for a little longer. Of course. Also, as of right now, you're chief advisor of the Arataki gang. Oh, your sister. I'm sorry, it's just... It's all a bit complicated. Uh, come on, let's go outside and find her. All right, what lies are we going to be slinging this time? Okay. So here's our split. All right, so I'm not going to glide down there. She's just down this way. My FPS is taking a toll. Wow, they really got the flyers all the way up here, huh? Oh, that's... That's something. You look very happy. Of course. Lady Yai personally assigned this task to me. Oh, it's you, Traveler. Long time no see. I guess Lady we've met, Yai we've has met instructed before. me to clean up all the flyers on the mountain. As for why someone would put these up at a shrine in the first place? Unbelievable. Who was behind it, I wonder? How about the huh? person painted on it? Who's that standing behind you? <clears throat> Miyuki? It's been a while. Shinobu! You... You... You finally decided to come back! Uh, Sorry, no. I'm here for other reasons. Oh, really? The whole family's worried about you. They might not always say the right thing, but deep down... I'm doing fine, and there's no need to worry about me. There. Just tell them that. I'm gonna need more to go on than that! What's this I've been hearing from visitors? That you've joined some sort of gang since returning from Liyue? That's not the worst Yeah, she's the, the one keeping either. the gang under control. As unlikely as it sounds, I have to ask. Shinobu. Did you get tricked into this or something? I was just about to fill you in on that side of things. As it happens, the gang I work for, it's actually a legitimate international organization. Really? Really? <clears throat> <laughs> Our organization brings together the brightest talents from all over the world, including this traveler, for instance. A prominent figure in both Mondstadt and Liyue, who has recently joined us as our chief advisor. Greetings. Wait. Lady Yai did mention something about a world-renowned traveler. So, that's you? The pleasure is all mine. That's right. A large part of the reason I traveled all the way to Liyue was for the opportunity to build contacts with these prominent individuals. I see. <laughs> well, that makes sense. So what is the name of this organization? Uh, the Arataki Gang. Oh, yeah. Ha. The Arataki yeah. Gang? I feel like I've heard that name somewhere before. Wait. That's the name on these flyers! And that's why we're here. <laughs> <clears throat> I can explain. That was all due to a marketing campaign gone wrong. We came to the shrine today to clear up the misunderstanding. <laughs> Our organization is relatively new to Inazuma, and one recurring issue we've had is people misinterpreting what we're about. So, we engaged a local marketing agency to help us communicate our ethos and philosophy more effectively. Unfortunately, something must have gotten misunderstood along the way because the results were quite a disaster. Although, the fault lies overwhelmingly with our partner agency in this case. <laughs> As a responsible organization, we think we should be the ones to apologize and deal with the fallout. So, yeah, we can deal with this and you can go ahead and get back to the shrine. No way. This task was assigned to me by Lady Yai herself. Oh, we'll Look, help you with it, We can it, clean man. up together, can't we? Besides, I also want to hear all about this Arataki mm. gang. <sighs> it's like she predicted my every move. <sighs> all right, fine. The flyers aren't particularly sticky. If we soften them up with water or loosen them up with wind, they'll probably peel right off. Oh, are you going to have me do that? Sure. <laughs> 
Nope, that, nope, that's Pyro. Froomph. Okay. Stick it to the man. Join the Arataki gang. Uh. <laughs> uh, how do I put this? The artistic style of your marketing material is very... Childish? <clears throat> it's largely inspired by the abstract style, which is very popular in Mondstadt right now, and uh, also incorporates elements from Li Yue's inkwash paintings. We paid Top Mora to hire a professional artist for this, and while the finished product is a little, um, uh, avant-garde, that's exactly in line with the Arataki gang's spirit of being fearlessly creative and radically disruptive. All right, I, um, all right. I see. Okay, <laughs> good, good on you there. Reed, what are you doing? Arataki numero uno ito. Ousting his foes like a sumo supremo. This Arataki Ito, is he your leader in Inazuma? I've heard a few rumors. <clears throat> Mr. Arataki is a pioneering genius and the face of our organization. Naturally, plenty of our competitors seek to smear him. Mr. Arataki is generous and easygoing by nature, and is reluctant to get bogged down with fighting spurious allegations. Plus, the fact that he is an Oni can make certain topics a little tricky to navigate. Huh. Nevertheless, we still reserve the right to sue for defamation if it comes to it. Really? Huh. Wow. That sounds tough. <laughs> I feel like Miyuki didn't really believe that. The Arataki gang is filled with folks who talk the talk and walk the walk. It looks like there are some members mentioned on the back. Mamoru, Genta, Akira... Oh, on the back? Of the on. flyer that was stuck to a if wall? If your organization has so many members, how come you and the chief advisor had to come and apologize in person? Um, well, first and foremost, we wanted to convey our most heartfelt apologies to the shrine and to Lady Guji. Secondly, the other members are dealing with more pressing issues. Right now, they're in talks with our external marketing team about this incident. Also, you could others have just said that they're going to clean up um, the flyers in other places. greater legal expertise and negotiating skills than I do, so mm, they had to be the ones attending that's, the talks. That, that's wow. The Arataki gang very much not find true. staff even more qualified than you. Now that's impressive. Oh wow, she doesn't sound like All she right. believes any of this. I think this area is looking good now. Let's head down the mountain. And there they are. Oh, oh man. What are you doing here? Shinobu, we're so sorry. We've come to our senses now. We can't let you face the shrine alone, even though we're still a little scared. Actually, I'm feeling a little weak in the knees. Hang in That's there, Akira. We gotta do this. We have. To... Huh. Don't worry about them, Yuki. Let's get down the mountain and clear up those flyers. It's all right, Shinobu. We've already gotten rid of all the flyers down there. Huh? You cleaned up already? But I thought Shinobu That's why I and said, the like, traveler. You could have very the easily said they went came. to clear up other flyers. We came here as quickly as we could after we finished apologizing the city. After all, this. Mamoru Genta and I were the ones who so came up with the, the idea of the boss designing his own flyers, and we were the ones who put them up all over town and got arrested for it. So, it just seems wrong to make Shinobu face that woman at the shrine all by herself. Mamoru and Genta? Arrested? The flyers were designed by the boss? Uh... Busted! What the heck is going on here, Shinobu? Does this mean that the rumors I heard are... True? Yes. yes. Most of them, anyway. So, what happened? Did you get tricked into joining them? If the rest of the family hears about this, oh, goodness gracious! No. I joined of my own free will. It's not as spectacular as I was making it out to be. But I'm happy with what I'm doing. Go ahead and tell the family if you want. Tell them everything. I don't think being a member of the Arataki gang is anything to feel ashamed about. Even if you drag me back kicking and screaming, 
You know I'll only find a way to escape again. Uh-oh. I have a feeling we've messed up again. Yep. Even that fox knows it. Going to turn Shinobu in? Hey, we're the ones who messed up the shrine. Shinobu had nothing to do with it. Where's that other lady? B bring her out. Nope. I'm at a loss for words, Shinobu. I really am. All right, all right. I promise I won't tell anyone at home. Don't worry. What? You're not a little kid anymore. And you're more widely traveled and have met more people than any of us. At the end of the day, it's your choice what you decide to do. And I have to say, the rumors do unnerve me a little bit, but... Look, they came here to support you. Despite obviously being terrified of Lady Yai. Since Obviously. you've chosen the Arataki gang, just promise me you'll do your best to make all the things you used to talk about come true. <sighs> Sis. Aww. What's going on here? Can you just shut know, up? But it looks all three like of you. Maybe we don't need to get that terrifying lady to come and confirm our story after all. Besides, if even the traveler has decided to join, oh, no, I'm not a member, the just a friend. The future of the Arataki gang looks very bright, doesn't it? <laughs> Actually, I... <laughs> Chief Advisor, if you'd like to discuss the Arataki Gang's future development, let's step to the side, please. Mm-hmm. There we go. <laughs> Time for some secret dealings. For the sake of the Arataki Gang's future, you suppose you can play this Chief Advisor role a bit. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, hi there. Oh, are you normally over here? There, there's always a chance that the people out in the world like this have can give me something for uh, uh, conversation options. I just have to find the right one. Oh, yeah. Uh, the whole Mikage Furnace thing was a side quest that I took me a very long time to actually beat. Um, but once I did, it got rid of all the electro hazard stuff over there, which was great. Yeah, no, I'm not going to Right, so. All right, that was everything on that path. Move faster, damn it. Okay, that's everything on that path. So the everything branches off of this. Let's go here. Okay, let's see where we are in this All right then, Shinobu. Yeah, we... Not so fast. Ah! Last month, Back you almost got the... How many times will you have to... But we put up those... No more excuses. Ah! P -p please you... I'm just gonna slowly back away. Are you serious? Nope, you guys, uh... Shinobu... You have this coming. Please calm down. Calm down. Shinobu, uh, Shinobu teaches a three a painful lesson. Oh, there we go. Huh. Now that you've taught them a lesson, that you can get back to your original plan for today. You got off lightly. I have more important things to do today. We'll finish this off tomorrow. Is that clear? Huh? Tomorrow? Do we have to? Excuse me. Got it. Got it. We'll, we'll leave you to your other plans. <laughs> <laughs> Shinobu believes. Wait, what? Oh, why did you just stand there and watch? Because you deserved Don't it. Don't you care about us at all? It was going to happen sooner or later. I guess that's true. And the longer she puts it off, the angrier she gets. But she said there'll be more to come oh. tomorrow. Oh, I, got, oh, I, I see something in the background. Shinobu was move. busy tomorrow, too. Hmm. Hey, 
how about we hold her up somehow? So she still has things left to do tomorrow. Oh, uh, no. That sounds kind of risky. If we end up sabotaging Shinobu's work, even Boss wouldn't be able to protect us. Would he? Would yeah, not be able to get there in time. Shinobu ever found out it was us? <sighs> I don't even want to think about it. You're not going to do anything awful, are you? No way. We won't do anything bad. We're just gonna go and have a Do you look know and, what that means? You know, hold things up if it's possible. <clears throat> I, I mean, we can't just sit here and do nothing, can we? Hey, yeah, can. If you don't trust us, why don't you come and watch? Uh, you know, to keep an eye on us. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with just taking a look. Who knows? Maybe it'll give us some other ideas. Also, if the traveler's there, we can probably talk our way out if we get discovered. Um, okay then. From what Shinobu was just saying now, she should be heading to the Uyu restaurant. Let's quietly follow her and just see how it goes. Sure. What are we doing? Go to the second floor of the restaurant. Well, in a second, I saw something that I need to loot. Now these spin crystals I mostly get from the uh, the shop uh, in uh, the, 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 the Serenity Pot. Uh, this random shopkeeper who shows up. Wait, did I miss it? There it is. But they can also be found out in the world. And I have no idea where in the world, so I just happened to find some. I'm surprised we found two today. The fact that I hadn't found these yet is kind of surprising. Restaurant. Looks like they're not on the first floor. Maybe they're upstairs. Uh, are you sure we should go up there? I, I, I gotta psych myself up first. Cowards. This is Miss Kuki Shinobu whom I've recommended to you before. Oh. Hello, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Kuki Shinobu. I studied law in Liyue, so while I couldn't claim to be an expert, I do have a rudimentary grasp of the basics. <laughs> From what I've heard, Miss Kuki, I'm sure you're being very modest. I'm looking forward to working together. I can assure you that she is exceptionally capable. All the doshin from the police station have vouched for her abilities. Hmm. Well, with such a glowing endorsement, I'm almost tempted to ask you if you'd like to start right away, Miss Kuki. You flatter me, Madame Norika. But perhaps we can discuss the role in detail over our meal before deciding how well I'm suited to the role. Oh, oh forgive me for getting ahead of myself. You're quite right, Miss Kuki. Let's continue this discussion as we dine, or the food will get cold. <laughs> it's quite understandable to be hungry for top talent. Oof. Akira, Genta, did you hear that? Is Shinobu at a job interview? And look who it's with, the Tenryo Commission Tengu. Never thought I'd see that self-important Tengu acting so polite. Who's that other woman they're with? Some big shot official? Well, duh! That Tengu is the Shogunate's general. So that other lady has got to be someone ridiculously high up. Well, whoever it is, they're gonna get all like worried Shinobu about something that's actually gonna be good for them. You heard them. And they're gonna the ruin it. practically hers already. But without Shinobu, what's gonna happen to the Arataki gang? I'm not leaving you guys. We gotta do something. Quick, let's go tell the boss. The gang isn't a job. For she can Kabuto do both. Nearby. Oh, do we have to? What happens if I keep going up? Let you know who the Tengu see you. Come on, let's head back and talk things through with the boss. <laughs> I got an achievement for that. Oh, cool! <laughs> Never would have guessed. We'll, we'll check out the uh, all of the achievements we get during this when we're done. What's up, Ido? Just hanging out. All right. Boss.
boss. Bad news, boss. Really bad. It's not bad. You're just misinterpreting it because Whoa, that's hey, how these things are written what's with the every time. Vibes, huh? This is the Arataki gang, remember? It ain't bad news till we show up, am I right? <laughs> so come on, what's up? It's Shinobu. She... Shinobu's gonna go work for the Tengu. What? Shinobu found a new job? You have got to be kidding me. Your gang isn't a job. No, it's true, boss. We saw her at the interview with our own eyes, didn't we? She was interviewing, but... <sighs> that slimy... I knew that Tengu had her greedy eyes on Shinobu. I mean, she's obviously jealous of the Arataki gang's top-class talent, but now she's trying to poach my people? Ah, that thieving Tengu! Shouldn't we ask Shinobu about this first? But they're already asking her for a start date! It's in the bag. The interview is clearly just a formality. <laughs> well, based on my experience of interviewing once every three days, I know for a fact that they will have been plotting this for a long time by now. How, how do you get so many inter interviews, Ito? How do you get them? I've been job searching for a long time now, and I've had one interview. One! And I didn't hear a single thing from them after. Don't think I would have liked working there anyway. But... Interviewing every three days? My dude! We can all tell you're not employable, but you can't get them in interviews without having something in the bag. I don't think Shinobu would switch jobs for no reason. It's all just be misunderstanding. Oh, there is no way she... Well, actually, you know what? You could be right. She does get treated pretty well in the Arataki gang. I mean, every time we win some snacks, she does get first pick. But I heard that a day's salary in the Shogunate is enough Max to buy a week's worth of You are doing a very thing. good job with this character. Yeah, but still, in the Arataki gang, we have a more relaxed working environment, don't we? Seriously, have you ever seen that Tengu smile? No! Yes. She always has that same sour look on her face. Because she has to deal with you. But we seem to be the only ones who are relaxed, no? Every time we get caught, Shinobu's the one who has to come and get us out. Do you think maybe after we got arrested for posting flyers this time, Shinobu finally had enough? This flyer drive me mad too. Wait, so it's not a misunderstanding? No, no, I think it is. Those are my only options here. It's all our fault. We boss, what are we gonna do? Without Shinobu, the Arataki gang won't survive! Alright, you guys, uh, come with me. We'll, we'll go door to door and apologize. And we'll, uh, we'll tear down all the flyers. What? Uh, but boss, it took you months to make those! Don't you think I know that? I know what it took- I... <laughs> the, We have to show Shinobu we're truly sorry, and this is... It's the only way. Boss! <laughs> also, I need you to do something for me. Let's hear it. Go find Shinobu and tell her you want an interview. If what? you tell Shinobu that you want to join us, suddenly she'll have a whole different outlook on the future of the Arataki gang. With you and Shinobu as my trusty number twos and Arataki numero uno Ito running the show, we'd be unstoppable. The Shogunate would have a tough time competing with us then, huh? Whoa, nice one, boss. Oh dear. The Arataki oh dear. gang rules! What do you say, partner? All right, but just this once. <laughs> okay! I'll leave Shinobu to you then. Boys, we've got some apologies to make. I'm gonna tell her. If I have the option, I'm telling her. <sighs> yes, it is a misunderstanding don't know the whole story. All right then. You can expect us to be in touch very soon to follow up, Miss Kuki. It's getting late. I should get back. I hope that the next time we meet, we'll be at the headquarters of the Tenryo Commission. Thank you. I'm truly honored. Huh? When did you get here? Just arrived. Huh? Whatever. What did you want? Uh, have Genta and the guys caused a Damn it, scene I don't again? have an option. Actually, I came to request an interview with an you. An interview? You want to join the Arataki gang? You haven't consumed any strange substances, have you? 
course not. So this isn't a joke. Huh, that kind of makes this even more concerning. It's not like you're <coughs> a Yarataki gang, so what's gotten into you? Uh, I mean, uh, what sparked your interest in joining? I like the people. Specifically you. You know this nice. I see. <laughs> well, enjoying it from the outside is one thing, but actually being in the gang is a whole different story. I have to go into town to take care of some routine gang business. You can come with me. Consider it your internship. After that, if you still want to join us, then I'm in. We'll see how it goes. Talk to the merchants near the streets. All right. Mr. Kambe, or is it Mr. Shimura? Hmm. Ah, Shinobu. Can I get you anything? No thanks, Mr. Shimura. Is southern? I'm actually here to apologize on behalf of the Arataki gang for the whole okay, posting flyers going. incident. Oh, <laughs> that. Don't worry about it. Your boss and his pals already came to apologize. Not only did they take down all the flyers, they cleaned up the shop for me too. Wait, are you sure that was the Arataki <laughs> gang? Did the leader have horns on his head? Yeah, yeah. Sure did. Ah, it looks like at long last, they've turned over a new leaf. How is this possible? Maybe it's your influence at work. I find this all very hard to believe. Let's head to Tsukumomono Groceries. Okay, so... Alright, that this, this is funny. Apparently, her, most of her business in town was dealing with what they went to go and deal with to try and make sure she doesn't leave. Welcome to Tsukumomono Groceries. What can I do for you? Sorry, Miss Aoi. I'm here on behalf of the Arataki gang regarding the incident with the flyers. Oh, the flyers? A bunch of guys came by and cleaned them up already. They also kept loudly proclaiming that they were going to compensate me in full if it was the last thing they did. This mm. whole thing really wasn't a huge deal, so I told them that if they really wanted to make it up to me, they could just buy something from the shop. They huddled together and discussed it for a while, and in the end they bought the most expensive item in the store, even though all four of them had to empty their pockets to get enough mora. What the... Have they really had a change of heart? See, your teaching was not in vain. There's one more person we need to apologize to. Let's go. No, they've probably already done it, but I guess we'll figure that out when we get there. Shota? Also, what are you doing up here? You're usually down hey, by the shrine. Girl in the mask. Down. Guess what? The guy with the horns came to see me, and he gave me back all the snacks he won off me yesterday. <laughs> wow, did he? Well, I also brought some snacks. You can take them, too. Then you'll have extra in case they come to play- <laughs> No need. They promised they're never gonna take my snack. Is this really the same Arataki gang I know? No, hmm. I have to see it with my own eyes. Huh? Look, they're down there right now. Okay. Down where? Over here? It's really them. Huh. Unbelievable. Hey, are you posting flyers again? No, no, we're innocent. We're cleaning them up. Kidding? <laughs> you Tenryo Commission types. Maybe if you opened your eyes, you'd see that people can change. They're playing the blame game before you even understand the situation. And you know. <clears throat> Sorry, Doshin. Please don't mind them. They're just a little overexcited. <sighs> Shinobu and the Traveler, we're saved! I know how preposterous it sounds, but they have in fact been cleaning up the flyers. Numerous witnesses in this area can attest to that. But I just heard about a street gang who've been reported for posting flyers. And look at this thing! This is clearly the guy with the horns. Even the expression <laughs> is identical. Oh. <laughs> oh, turns out this ten real blind is a real art connoisseur. They, yeah, they really got the face style, right, but the rest of the so, body is what the then. fuck. 
Right, that's it. You're coming with me to the police station. Wait, please. I can explain. Uh, what's going on? So sorry, Madam Norika. I'm just stopping some hooligans from posting flyers. We already told you we are innocent. Are, are you even listening? You've been detained at the police station for graffiti countless times. You're really trying to tell me you're an innocent man? Well, well, taking oh, them down. Beside the point. It's different this time. I, I swear. Doshin, this is Miss Kuki, a business partner of mine. I can vouch for her honest and forthright character. If her friends have done anything wrong, she will not hide it. Perhaps we could hear her out first? After all, since we're going to be working together in a few days, it would be a shame to let something like this come between us, don't you think? Working together? Oh, you mean the thing Madame Kucho Sara briefed us on? Understood. We will hear your explanation. <sighs> all right. Shinobu explains the situation to Amano. <sighs> I see. So, you did post the flyers, but then you did the responsible thing and came back to clear them up. It seems I jumped to conclusions on this occasion. Please, accept my apologies. No apology needed. We know how much trouble we've created for you in the past. <sighs> well, I'm glad to see that the misunderstanding is resolved. Well, I will see you soon. I hope we can work together effectively. Uh, most certainly, ma'am. Boss! Did you hear what they said? This means... Shinobu has already made her decision. She's not leaving you guys! Yeah, looks like it's time for us to make a decision too. Move to the backup plan. Guys, chill. What are you up to now? Shinobu, thank, thank you forever. For hey, what's what? this all about? <clears throat> Shinobu, this is a parting gift from all of us in the Arataki gang. We all pitched in and bought you this from Tsukumomono Groceries. We know it's nothing compared to your salary in the Shogunate, but... A Naku weed bracelet? What am I supposed to do with this? Shinobu, don't forget about us when you're at the Tenryo Commission. We'll all try and be better people and better Oni. This is such you a classic to mis not make your miscommunication. Job difficult. You Wait, see it in so many movies and series. Also, Shinobu, when you couldn't find your snacks last in last month, I stole that toy we won. And when you came and asked me uh, for it, I, I, I lied and I told you it was broken. <laughs> Hey, no crying. We talked about this. Send her off with a smile, all right? Who are we? We're the... The Arataki gang. Shinobu is moving on to better things. We should be happy for her. <laughs> You're right. You're right, boss. <laughs> ah, get on with it. The Arataki gang rolls. <laughs> hey, don't you start too. Oh, is this the Harataki gang you mentioned, Miss Kuki? What an interesting group of people. Yes, sorry for making a scene. Mm, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Norika, a merchant who does business between Inazuma and Liyue. Recently, I've been negotiating a business deal with the Tenryo Commission regarding medical supplies. <laughs> huh? A merchant? Wait, so you're not a Shokunin official? Of course not. I'm just a merchant. I was lucky enough to secure exclusive sales rights for some new first aid supplies from Bubu Pharmacy recently. So I thought I would ask the Tenryo Commission if they would be interested in establishing a long-term supply relationship. Injuries are a regular occurrence in the army, after all. Cross-border trade is a complicated affair, but fortunately, Madam Kujo Sara was able to bring in a legal consultant proficient in the laws of both nations. And that's you. Oh. You mean Shinobu? That's right. Thanks to Miss Kuki, our negotiations went very smoothly. The rest of the process will probably take another 10 to 15 days. After that, I will have to borrow Miss Kuki from you again for a while. I knew it. I can definitely spare the time. So long as these guys stay out of trouble. Ah, uh, yes. I have a little compensation for you all. Here, some trial packs of our new supplies. Miss Kuki Trial tells me that you medicine. often find yourselves in injury-prone situations. I heartily <laughs> recommend our product. This is unexpected. Yeah, so she jumped to conclusions emergent. right away. Uh, 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 oh, you guys, I knew you must have gotten the wrong idea. Shinobu would never quit. <laughs> Look at all this fuss you made over nothing. <sighs> Planning yeah, a you went along ceremony. with it, though. Uh, 
but wasn't the backup plan your idea, boss? Ahem. <laughs> All right, well, if we're done here, I'm gonna head to Sukumamono Groceries and see if they'll let me return the bracelet. Wait up, boss. We'll come with you. Hold it right there. <laughs> last week's snacks, last month's toy. Huh? What else aren't you telling me? Oh, uh, the thing is, you see... Sh Shinobu, let it slide. I've got your new first aid supplies. Don't you want to test them out? Run, run, run! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. There we go. Arataki Gang Community Service Chronicle. Arataki Gang's path is never short of bumps along the way, even in such matters as sweeping the streets. <laughs> run, run, run! <laughs> oh, man. Even if the, the storylines are... Must have her reasons. Well, whatever the hell that is. Uh, cliche. The voice acting's great. Oops, wrong one. Alright, so that was three endings. We have two more. Nope. Okay, is there anything else along this path? Nope, that was a straight shot. So we're back here. And we have to find one thing. Oh, Shinobu's specialty. Cool. And we have to find the next split. And if I get it wrong, then we'll just jump back. So let's All see, right, the first thing we did we, was uh, uh we'll, yeah. let her go Not instead so. of hold her back. Last month, or step you in. almost got the f how many times will you let's have to try be stepping in again? We put up no more excuses. Ah, please Don't feel sorry for them. They need to learn their lesson. Oh then allow me. Really? Huh? Punishment isn't necessary to teach them a lesson. Sometimes rules are more effective. Rules? You're saying we should lay down some rules for the guys? Oh, interesting. Okay. Knights of Avonius have a handbook. It's true. Having a clear set of regulations and penalties could help establish behavioral norms for our members. Is that really why I can never get them to change? Because the Arataki gang doesn't have any written rules and regulations? Hey, are you getting this? What do they mean? I'm not sure, but it sounds like it doesn't involve us getting beaten up. You could write an Arataki Gang handbook for them to study. Hmm, let me think about it. The Arataki Gang handbook. St study? They're not going to make us memorize a whole book, are they? <laughs> no way! I took the beating over that. Hey, yep. guys, Shinobu seems distracted. Maybe we should slip away while we can. Yes, if we can make them learn the rules by heart, it's sure to have some amount of influence on their behavior. But knowing what they're like, to really get it into their heads, I'll have to assign plenty of homework assignments and give them pop quizzes each day. Huh? Where'd they go? <laughs> I, I didn't see... Well, given that this way is Tenshukaku in the police station, you can bet they'll have fled in the opposite direction. Who knows what chaos will cause next if we leave them to their own devices? I'm gonna need your help. Let's catch these kids before they do something stupid. Will do. Alright, that's split number one. There'll be another split along this way. I do want to check, though. Yep. Not yet. Gang violence. <laughs> huh? That's the owner of Isa Bathhouse. What's he looking at? What was that? I was just doing some cleaning when I suddenly heard a loud noise outside. I got to the door just in time to see a shadowy figure disappear up that tree. It might just be a This cat, is a be busy honest. street. Surely it wouldn't be a burglar, would it? What was that? Up the 
tree? Is it this tree? I don't know. Apparently not. Sup, Mamoru? Or Mamoru? There we go. Come on, get up. What are you crouching there for? Ah, Shinobu, what are you doing up here? Hey, what do you think you're doing climbing up on someone else's roof? Oh, sorry. Coming down. <sighs> if you're gonna horse around, fine. But you have to know when to rein it in, okay? It's darn lucky you didn't break any roof tiles. Otherwise, I'd have to close the place down while I get it fixed. S sorry! We're very sorry. I will be much stricter with him in the future. If, on closer inspection, you do find any damage, please come to Hanamizaka and ask for me. The Arataki gang will bear the... <sighs> it's okay. All's well that ends well. It's just... If you carry on like this, causing mischief day after day, night after night, sooner or later accidents are gonna happen. I can see that you're a reasonable person. For your own sake, find a way to keep your subordinates in line. I will. Thank you for understanding. For the sake of both the Arataki gang and the community, I will get them to start behaving themselves as a matter of urgency. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll do better, we promise. Listen carefully. You really From are just on, following around the strictly only abide same by the gang in the bylaws game. of the Arataki gang. Gang bylaws Article 1 Do not damage other people's property. In case of violation, the member shall compensate the victim for their full losses, including the cost of repairs, lost business hours, and, depending on the situation, compensation for emotional distress. <laughs> if the offending member cannot immediately afford to pay the compensation, the Arataki gang will extend to the member a loan for the full sum, on the condition that they take on paid employment and repay the loan within an agreed time period, including interest, of course. As a further a security, lost, all of the offending member's gang assets, including Oni Kabuto and Genius Invocation TCG cards, will be frozen until the loan is repaid in full. No, no, I'm sorry, I get it now, I promise. Good, then no more violations in the future. Now, where are Genta and Akira? I just have to say, I know at one point they're going to release some sort of... Genius Invocation TCG mini game, at least for an event or something, and I'm probably gonna hate it. <laughs> they, they, they really do flip flop with how good the events are. It's either, oh hey, fight, boring, or, oh hey, puzzle dungeon, excellent. Uh, or somewhere well, in between. said that a fellow gang member is a brother from another mother, and we should never betray the brotherly bond. And I will say, rhythm games are on the side of excellent. That was, it was a very good one. If they violated the gang bylaws, and you're withholding knowledge of their whereabouts, you'll be punished as an accomplice along with them. Hanabizaka! They went to Hanabizaka! <laughs> I saw it with my own eyes. <sighs> Let's go. I great. hope they haven't caused any trouble. Where's Hanamizaka again? Shinobu, probably... you can see I've learned my lesson for real this time. So maybe... Shut up and get a move on. If you try and run away again, you'll only have yourself to blame for the consequences. Hmm, not liking my frames. We always have that problem with this game so yeah. I know I've been playing a lot of games on my PC lately and always a risk of having issues with that but uh, when we never really seem to have much in the way of frame rate issues when we get when we play on my PS5 we just have artifacting issues that I can't catch I'm not sure which is worse do we really have to give up on playing Genius Invocation today? We could it. try playing somewhere else. But where else apart from under the bridge can we escape from the grown-ups? Oh, I know! We can get you and Mia to set off some fireworks and scare yeah. off the guy that took our spot! That's kind of mean. Although he kicked us out first. Yeah, so it's his own fault. I think? 
maybe we should just go home and do our homework? People who spend all their time playing and never studying turn into the kind of grown-ups who hang out under bridges, too. Wow. Yo. Genta. You really kicked out kids? Why are you kids? still hiding here? Come on out. Oh, uh, I... Shinobu. Whoa, the guy who stole our spot, he came out. Sorry, we're coming up. I, I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have stolen your spot. Well, at least not without a fair fight first. Um, l let me make it up to you. Against As children? punishment, I'll play a game of genius invocation with you. Huh? Cool, count me in. In the Arataki gang, the victor shares the spoils. No, wait. Rather share our burdens. So, uh... Uh, it's so noisy over here. The grown-ups will definitely find us. If they find out that we came out to play cards before finishing our homework, we'll never be allowed to play again. <laughs> These kids have more self-control than some people. Besides, if we never do our homework and play Genius Invocation all the time, We'll probably turn into big losers when we grow up. Huh? Seriously? Y you mean like this guy? <laughs> oh man. Oh brother. Quick! Insults let's from get kids. Back and do our homework. Hey, you little rascals! Stop. Leave them alone. They're just kids. Gang bylaws, I Article Two. No bullying of small children. Bylaws? What are they? Being written as we speak. That's what they are. Never mind that. Just listen. Violators must give a sincere and unreserved apology to the victim and make amends. Until such a time as the victim forgives the violator, they will be banned from participating in all gang activities, including lavender melon roasting sessions, the great sing-along, Oni Kabuto battles, and genius invocation TCG. No! Don't pretend to be the victim here. Tell me, where is Akira? Uh, boss said that... Go on. He was heading out of the city. I saw him with my own eyes. Why do I get the feeling this happens all the time? When Shinobu gives me the look, I react automatically. I can't control it. You deserve it. <clears throat> As members of the Arataki gang, we brothers share our burdens. If that means getting taught a lesson, then we take it as a team. Out of the city? <sighs> A doshin from the police station told me that things have been getting pretty rough out there recently. Let's go. Hopefully we can catch up with him. Hmm. Hey, uh, how did Shinobu find me so quickly? Mamoru, did you? Yep. Oh, jeez, I'm just so worried about Akira, you know? He could be in real trouble. Quick, we gotta catch up with him. All right. Take this! Oh, couldn't grab the other one. <sighs> I swear, I've never known a cure to run so fast before. I can't keep going. I think I'm actually gonna die. <sighs> Something on your mind? I heard from the police station about a group of Kairagi on the prowl outside the city. You'd still have to be very unlucky. The odds of Akira running into them are pretty low. <sighs> Well, anyway, the best we can do is find him as soon as possible. There's a lot of terrain to cover here. I think we might have to split up. I'll get Mamoru and Genta somewhere safe and tell them to stay put. Then, I'll go south, you go north? Sure thing. Thanks. All right, you two. Stay here, you understand? No running off. You can count on that. We ain't going anywhere right now. Yes, I can see that. But you'd better not change your mind once you've caught your breath. We won't. Never again. All right. North it is.
<laughs> I wonder if I can hide in this box. What you looking at? Huh? Ah! Shinobu! Please, have mercy! Shinobu isn't here. Huh? Oh, you scared the heck out of me. I was so sure she'd be with you. Boy, this is lucky. What are you doing here? <laughs> I closed my eyes and just ran and ran. Then I tripped and fell, and this is where I ended up. And what do you know? It's the perfect hiding place. It even comes with these huge boxes. Ugh, dude. If I can squeeze myself inside one of them, Shinobu will never find me. Yeah, and then uh, what Don't sell me out. Boss said our gang is our clan, and... Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, nice. Anyway, please, help me empty out one of these boxes. Shinobu says not safe around here. Kairagi might show Kairagi? Up. Wait a second. This sounds like Shinobu trying to scare me out of hiding. Mm, no. Even if it's not... I still feel like I'd rather face a bunch of Kairagi than an angry Shinobu. I ran so and far this time. Come and save Shinobu's you, gonna be and furious with me. That means we get the players. Sure, let's do that. Yeah, I think I'd better stay in hiding for a while. Yeah, no. No, come with me. I'll make sure Shinobu goes easy on you. It, you will? How do I know you mean that? Because homies are family. And my word is my bond. I guess with you there, maybe Shinobu really will let me off this time. Okay. Is this what the split is? I'll come with you. I'm putting my life in your hands here. Shinobu? Oh, that's unexpected. I finished searching the south and noticed you hadn't returned, so I came to see what was up on your end. Looks like I was just in time. Help me! You promised! I, um... Relax, I'm not going to do anything. Shinobu, spare me! I, uh... Huh? Did I hear you right? We go through this song and dance every day. Even an omnipresent god would have a tough time keeping track of you all. Besides, even when I teach you a lesson, it's not long before you're up to your usual antics again. <laughs> In the Arataki gang, we call that being too legit to quit. Dude, not now. From now on, we will be using the gang bylaws of the Arataki gang as the new disciplinary tool. I've got the basics thought out already. Once it's finished, it'll be time for class. Mamaru and Genta are waiting for you at Hanamizaka. You can make a study group and test each other on the rules. Wait, what? Are you serious? Come on, it's not that bad. The learning isn't gonna be fatal. Uh, I'm a member of the Arataki gang. I ain't about to waste my life studying and doing homework. I'm out of here. Huh? Gang bylaws article three. Insubordination shall be punished by making the member recite all the bylaws from memory. <laughs> that, okay, that's a funny one. Gang bylaws complete. That'll learn them. All right, guys. Have you learned your lesson? Obviously not. There. John Doe was playing cards with a child. When he lost the game, he got angry and proceeded to steal his opponent's cards. Which article of the gang bylaws did John Doe violate? You kidding me? He was mad about losing, so he robbed a kid? Which gang is this John Doe punk from? We gotta go teach him a lesson. Yeah, everyone knows don't hate the player, hate the game. Who does this clown think he is? Just answer the question. Also, John Doe is just a hypothetical character. This lesson is pretty legit. Ma, welcome to the class. Are the gang bylaws doing the job? Pretty difficult to say so far. But at least the punishments I use in class will get them spending their energy on something meaningful. If it keeps them out of trouble, I'll consider it a win. What punishments? You'll see very shortly. Hey, have you got an answer for me yet? Um, the one about not bullying children, that's the second one, right? But then, it also kind of fits damaging property, which is the first? How about I answer Article 1, and you answer Article 2? One of us has got to be right, so at least we won't get punished as hard. Alright, Shinobu, we've decided... Wrong! 
John Doe violates both Articles 1 and 2 of the gang bylaws, and the additional notes to Article 2, Clause 36 also apply in this case. You have 36 you clauses? Each of you must write out all the relevant rules in full three times. No. <laughs> There we go. Official business. Hanamizaka is full of many paths, and the first of these is abide by the law. All right. Looks like we only got one more. Now, where did that split happen? Uh huh. Yep, as I thought. Where we help him hide instead of bring him to Shinobu. <laughs> I wonder if I can hide in this box. What you looking at? Huh? Ah, Shinobu! Please, have mercy! Ah, Shinobu isn't here. Huh? Oh, you scared the heck out of me. I was so sure she'd be with you. Boy, this is lucky. What are you doing here? <laughs> I close me. What do you know? If I can squeeze myself and. Uh, don't sell me out. Boss said our gang is our clan and. Well, I'm not a member of the gang. <clears throat> well. Fred. Anyway. Please. Help me empty out one of these boxes. Shinobu said it's not safe around here. Kairagi might show up. Kairagi? Wait a second. This sounds like Shinobu trying to scare me out of hiding. Hmm. Even if it's not. I ran so far this time, Shinobu's gonna be furious with me. Fine. If she scares you that much, let me help you hide. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Just squeeze himself into a box. Why is there so much stuff in here? It's so cramped. Ah, oh, shoot, there goes the flyers. <sighs> Finally made it. But now there are flyers everywhere. They're visible from outside the box. Well, can't do anything about it now. Uh, can you go back and see what Shinobu's up to? I mean, I can. I can just take I need to them, figure out how long not. I need to lie low before she calms down. Well, you made a mess. You really think she's not going to find you, huh? It's so cramped in here. I hope Shinobu cools down soon. Nope, is this... That's not gonna let me go up, is it? Run around. Yeah, plane and Hanamizaka. Oh, yeah. Yo. Yeah. Did you find anything? Nope. That's too bad. My search didn't turn anything up either. I just spoke to a doshi. Apparently, the Kairagi are smuggling some supplies and they've hidden them in this area. They could come back at any moment to collect them. I just hope Akira doesn't run into them. These smuggled supplies, what do they look like? I'm told they're stored in a few wooden boxes. What's wrong? You have this really weird look on your face right now. That's where Akira is. What? Never mind, let's go. Yep, figured as much. This is the one where we get to try out Shinobu and fight the Kairagi. And they're gone. Is this the place? Yeah, no boxes but... and a whole bunch of footprints. We got here just too late. They can't have been gone for long. And with the supplies weighing them down, they couldn't have gotten far. Let's follow the footprints. Hmm, okay. Tracking time. This is on the beach. You can follow that easily. So what am I stuck on? Uh, beyond this point, there are weeds everywhere. And the footprints are hard to make out. Wait, is that one of the flyers they made? Yep, and here, and there they are. Wait. Huh. And they found Akira. There they are. You little brat! Where are the supplies? 
What did you do with them? Um, I think they probably ended up in the sea. They were just, they were just on the sand. You've ruined everything. Ugh, and you've stuck these hideous flyers all over the box. What do you take us for, huh? Nothing. I mean, I didn't mean anything. Our deal can't go ahead now. You are going to pay for this. Uh, wait, you better not mess with me. I'm, I'm from the Arataki gang. Come again? The Arataki gang. Never heard of it. You don't want to get on the wrong side of my boss. Even the general of the Shogun army doesn't dare to challenge him. And Shinobu too. She's got connections all over Inazuma and Liyue. And, and, and me. You're here. And Shinobu. Wow, they're not even substituting Traveler in there. So you're the Shinobu he's talking about, huh? Well, I don't know if I believe a word this little brat says. So tell me this. If you're really such a big shot, why do you hang out with this nobody? In the Arataki gang, nobody's a nobody. Listen and learn. Gang bylaws, Article 3. When one of us is in trouble, all of us come to their aid. Bylaws? Do we even have those? You do now! We do now. <laughs> you asked for it! Shinobu, watch out! Let's get down. Let me try my blade. We'll get down to business in a second. Look, it's Shinobu! Favonia sword, okay. Braveheart set. Three on the constellation. AoE increase, duration increase, level increase. Alright. Oops, I wasn't done there. Sanctifying ring. The grass ring of sanctification. The cost of her HP. That's why I didn't like playing this as much. Um, but it, it costs you HP. And, uh, let's see, follows your current active character around, deals electro damage to nearby opponents. Every one and a half seconds restores HP for active character with the ring's AoE, or within the ring's AoE, based on her max HP. So you spend your HP to heal HP. It's weird. HP consumption from the skill can only bring HP. Alright, uh... Okay. Hmm. Stand with me. One of her moves is throwing down a, a bunch of kunai. The buyer who were the Fatui of course. Akira, what have you gotten us into? I I didn't know they were gonna give them to the Fatui. No, nope, you first. Out of my way! <laughs> it isn't time for a break yet! I'm trying to do this with just a trial character, but it's not entirely the easiest thing. This should be fun. to melt you.
warm. Too warm. Okay. Ah, uh, I thought it was a goner for sure. So these Kairagi were just pawns of the Fatui. Didn't see that coming. If we pass we this information to the Tenryo Commission, it might go a long way towards making up for our past crimes. Huh? Shinobu, you mean I did something good this time? Just barely. In terms of the result, yes. Ah, that was a close call. <laughs> However, in terms of the process, you're a member of the Arataki gang, and you're out of breath just from fighting a handful of Kairagi and Fatui. Making up for our past crimes is one thing, but you really need some more hands-on training. Sh Shinobu! Shinobu, no! Help! Yep, yeah, no. <laughs> Arataki gang chief advisor. Doom arrives just the same! I'm honestly more afraid of Shinobu when she's when she's mad than Kairagi or the Fatui. Haha. <laughs> Alright. And that is it. All endings reached. Yep. Turning him in was a lot quicker, but yeah. Alright. So we have that handled. And there's still, like, another hour and ten that I'd normally be streaming. Uh, do we start the next game, or do I just futz around in here for a bit? That's the question. Because, of course, I do have this, but you didn't see the first three parts, so... I mean, the fourth part wouldn't really do you much. Yeah. Take this! Uh, okay, so what am I doing is the question. <sighs> if I were to switch over games, that would that wouldn't be like a real quick switch, because I haven't figured out how to put it on OBS yet. I'm assuming it'll work a lot better than the last game. It was made a number of years later. Um Oh right, I can show you this! I mean I've already cleared all the difficulties, but I can Show you all the songs, nonetheless. Hey, look, it's Genta. Oh, you want to take part in the drum along performance again? Yes, please. I want to see the performance again too, but the Tenryo Commission has ordered us to put everything on hold. You're putting me in a difficult position here. Yeah. So this oh, didn't really connect to her story Since quest. You, apparently, you can say we're friends, hanging out, and having fun. But the Tenryo enough. Commission won't be able to say anything against that. <laughs> this is a pretty genius idea, isn't it? I mean, at least half as genius as Boss's ideas. Bring it on, Traveler. Begin your performance. All right. We'll go through the songs because they're fun. But yeah, as you can see, I, I've beaten them all even on Expert. Uh, I wouldn't normally have bothered with the, uh, with the Expert one. Um, or Pro, sorry. Uh, but I decided I had time during lunch at work and just did it on my phone. Um, but we'll do hard because that's, uh, won't be too difficult.
Yeah. Ooh, good combo going. All right. Didn't fail any, so yeah. Right, so 98.66% Discantis. I don't know why they picked these weird names for them, but there's only one rating above that, which is for 100%. And I did, in fact, get that on one of these. Which one was it? Oh, it's not actually going to show me in this view because it shows my best, which was always pro. But yeah, and you can see from the buttons at the bottom there that it's just what's on my controller. On the mobile one, you're just tapping the different stuff. Uh, I, I will say, uh, the one thing that was weird about this is that they... They have you calibrate it yourself. And that, that takes a bit to figure that out. The correct one. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's just go through these because why not take up some time? I don't know if I'm going to get any better scores or not, but I have Discantis at least on everything. I feel like my timing's off. gets crazy by the end. <laughs> Good song, though. I really do like the music they picked for this. Yep, yeah, and after each one of these, they posted another thing on that uh, on that board behind us. A little, little note, it was pretty nice. Yes, yeah, as, as you can see, Discantis on everything. Just my calibration, but I'm not sure. Calibration's off. It is, it does get pretty difficult too. And like pro is very difficult. I'm just good at rhythm games for the most part. Yeah. Just glad I get to show you guys this. Even if I don't get to talk much during it because I need to hear.
Yeah! It's still so weird to me doing rhythm games on a, on just a game controller. Like, it's not the first rhythm game I've played on this specific controller either. Uh, because I played, um, what was it? Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory, that's what they called it. Which was a rhythm game on the PS4. Oh yeah, this is probably the, the silliest one. <laughs> Let's go, Crimson Knight. And I got five more points than last time. What do you know? I keep saying I'm gonna adjust the calibration and forgetting to do that. should have done these on pro just to show off. But like I said, I didn't do pro on my controller before I did it on my phone. You may have noticed that we haven't used that third button on the outside of either side. As if there were three when there's only like six, so the outside two. And Pro uses that. Interesting that the combo continues to go up while you hold down the holding notes. And last but not least... Yeah, see, Canaris. That's a 100%. Got on the last one on easy.
forgot how hard the ending of that one goes. 98.43, jeez. But yeah, that's, uh, that was that event. The Drum Along Festival. Also, notice the Miss Hina standee. It's like, hey, they brought that back! Alright. That's not where I have to go. I have to go here. Yeah, we still got, like, I would normally be playing for another hour, but if I were just to go about and do my uh, commissions today, that would just be boring for y'all. I'm sure that part was at least cool because the music was good. Yeah, I should have known this wasn't going to take the entire normal stream time. But, still good to get it out of the way, though. Also, out of curiosity, I have 160. That's exactly as much as I need for one of those. But I did just do a 10 drill, so it's not like I have enough to do another wish. Wait a second. Reboot. I got one of these recently. Nine! Damn it. Okay, almost, but not quite. Um. Out of curiosity. Nope, not anywhere close to what I'm at either. All right, well. Oh, right, the achievements. Let's get that out of the way. Complete gang's da daily deeds and unlock all endings. Our Ataki gang, chief advisor. One more look. Gaze up, up upon the glory that is Kuki Shinobu in a shrine maiden outfit. Forgetting that specific ending. And upstairs. Be dissuaded before alerting Kujo Sara and Kuki Shinobu. Which, I feel like that was a secret achievement. Not one you'd normally see. Uh, it, like, it's like, hey, but what if I go up? Alright, well. I know we're ending a lot earlier than usual, but let's see about a raid. Not a lot of people on at the moment. There'd probably be more on later. Uh... No. No. Yeah, I could send y'all over to Eric's drums. Playing some Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green. Kind of surprised I put those together. I wonder which one it actually is. Doesn't really matter. It's an older one, though. Okay, well. We'll be back to the Monkey Island series tomorrow. And until next time, folks, this is the Pirate King, signing off. Have a good night.